Welcome to the studio at African Utility Week. Today I'm with Gordon Molefe from the Botswana Power Corporation. He is the Director of Customer Services and Supply. Gordon, I'd like to talk about um, Botswana in terms of what is happening with uh, electrification in the yeah. country. I believe yeah. that you are aiming for 80% by 2016. Yes. What is the strategy? How are you going to achieve this? Excellent. Our winning strategy basically has been uh, improving network penetration in terms of deploying network to new villages or doing network expansions in areas that were not electrified, but there were pockets of uh, uh, access challenges. So this has worked uh, tremendously for us over the years. If I give you an example, in 2009, access to electricity was just uh, 43% or 49%. But right now we are talking about 69%. It contributes significantly to the momentum of gravitating towards uh, 80%. Right now the national access is already 75% if you combine the rural and the urban. So the, the winning strategy is to make sure that we are accessible. But most importantly, we need to come with strategies that uh, will reduce the connection time. We need to make sure that uh, we improve in terms of connection, uh, reducing the connection time. Uh, one of the stands that we've taken is that we open up and uh, do more outsourcing, allow customers who are able to do their own connection using their own uh, contractors under strict VPC supervision to do so. That way we are joining hands with customers to gravitate. Of salient importance will be the issue of uh, self-service, where customers will be able to get online and uh, make application from home. That will reduce the time, traveling time to go to the PC office and make an application. So I think it all goes back to say that we need to be more innovative, move at a faster pace so that we reach the 80%. And we think that is actually problem. What about revenue protection mm. uh, for the utility? Mm. What strategies are you putting in place there, such yeah. as um, looking at different payment solutions? Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, revenue protection, uh, broad as a to broader topic as it is, you might want to reflect on what are basically the issues that let you down in terms of collecting your revenues. Is the issue of natural outages, the issue of vandalism, and then the issue of theft to electricity itself, where users will use electricity and then not pay for it. In terms of uh, natural falls or outages, we invest year on year in terms of upgrading our network to improve its reliability, uh, keep up, uh, improve the uptime. Up and then the issues of vandalism, uh, basically to we deal with the security forces to assist us in terms of uh, reducing vandalism. And of course, uh, innovation, come with uh, better technologies that are deterrent. We've introduced what we call copper weld. This is a low copper content kind of uh, uh, cables that are less attractive to uh, the vandalizers. Yeah, so that's some of the things that we are doing. Most importantly, after conversion to prepaid, we find it compelling to come with a revenue protection uh, framework. We never had such before but we've since instituted that, uh, it is in place. And since uh, January uh, last year to December, uh, making a synopsis or a trial test, we've been able to protect about 30 million people that would have gone down the drain. So a revenue protection unit at BPC is a must, and we will make sure that it's there uh, going forward. Yeah. Yeah, at African Utility Week, you participated in the conference session. Fun. At African Utility Week, you participated in the conference sessions. Yes. What were the key solutions that came out of the sessions for you? The key solutions that uh, came out for me is the issues of smart grids and uh, leveraging into the telecommunication uh, services to assist us to uh, do better in terms of electricity. You know, like when you talk about smart metering, uh, when you talk about uh, remote meter reading, that's an element of the, uh, telecommunication where you have to send a signal to a remote, re uh, me uh, uh, a remote meter. A SCADA, for example, telemetry is an issue of telecommunication. Uh, smart, uh, smart grid 
is basically about uh, having the, your network intelligent enough to detect uh, where they predict possible areas of faults. That way it will assist us to have our network resilient, uh, better uptime, better revenues therefore. So this is one salient issue that I got from the Africa Utility Week in this presentation. I must say something that uh, was quite appealing that I didn't know, that some African countries are able to say that they have 99% electricity access while we are talking 80%. That was interesting. What I learned from that is that it now generates a need for one to go and see what was their uni, uni strategy. Mm. Yeah, it gives us opportunity to, uh, to research more. Yeah. Uh, Botswana is a, a landlocked country. Mm. Do you think that your challenges are any different from other countries um, that are you know, on the coast? Yeah, definitely, because uh, if you may know, uh, a lot of African countries are getting uh, their materials from overseas, uh, overseas manufacturers. And this means that uh, there are a lot of transition points uh, before uh, the material reach the destination. And that talks to the issue of cost, it talks to the issue of uh, time, lead time to deliver, and subsequently uh, the, the, time, the lead time for implementing your intended project and that eats into your image, so service delivery in the end. So that is the disadvantage of the landlocked country. So that's a big challenge uh, that we cannot do, uh, uh, there's nothing we can do for now, except to try to come with a better efficiencies of how the, the materials can be procured in a faster way yeah, from overseas. Yeah. Is this emphasis on, on rural electrification, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of uh, but the Botswana Power Corporation, what is being done? Um, the emphasis in uh, rural electrification, basically, we have been doing, as I said earlier, on grid extensions in already electrified villages, uh, because as the village expands, uh, new markets come, so you have to do some grid extension. The other area would be uh, electrification of new villages, villages that have not, uh, never been electrified. Uh, we do this through extension of through the national grid, sometimes through cross-border supply using our bilateral relations with our neighboring countries. Of course, we've uh, gone to uh, the area of solar uh, so that we supply particularly the low end of electrification uh, rural customers with the uh, solar uh, products like the solar home system, uh, the solar lanterns, uh, the hot bags, we've done those and they have been, uh, there is a promise in terms of getting the products uh, for in that respect. Right now, Bozona is doing a lot of trials around solar because we see it as a potential to also gravitate uh, the momentum of rural electrification. Yeah. And lastly, as an advisory board member to the African Utility Week, what do you foresee happening at next year's event? Yeah. Um, Africa Utility Week is hosted in a fast-growing continent. If you recall, Nicolet, uh, um, the fastest uh, Africa hosts seven of uh, the ten fastest-growing economies. This means to say that uh, our international partners will be interested to come and see how they can leverage and assist us uh, achieve uh, our goals. And it also says that uh, the African continent or the Africans will also want to converge to come and say, how can we tap into our international partners who will be here to come and assist us uh, move faster as our economy goes forward. So I see an Africa Utility Week that will have grown in terms of the number of people and the diversity in terms of the, the participants. I see an even very bigger event of various aspects not only in water, also in other sectors like telecom, as I said earlier. Or, um, so I see a bigger event. Fantastic. Well, I personally look forward to seeing a lot more coming out of Botswana yeah. projects and uh, more rural electrification coming on board. Mm. Yeah. Thank you for watching.